You'll only see on two. Take a look at these high-powered guns. You'd think they were for a SWAT team, maybe special ops. No, these were found at a suburban Park District Police Department. Tonight, our Dramat Terry searching for answers. As eight-year-old Patrick plays in the park in Chicago Heights, his older brothers keep a close watch on him. Yet their mother wishes there was more for her boys to do at their neighborhood park. Our parks need to be updated and also they need to implement new programs and stop taking them away. And when it comes to park police patrolling, it has been years since I've seen a Chicago Heights Park District police around. And effective this week, no one will see Park District police anymore. The board voted to abolish the police department and in the process, Take a look at what was discovered. The five officers in the part-time police force had access to these nine M16 rifles. They're meant for, I believe, military. Um, I don't see any reason why a part-time park district police officer would need that type of arsenal. Mayor David Gonzalez tells me since the department started in 2015, officers never made a single arrest. He says they discovered the guns only after bringing in a locksmith to open the safe. And what you see here, he says, was never mentioned by the outgoing chief. Even more surprised that they weren't included on an inventory uh, because those should have been put on that inventory list. The Parks Police Department started with a budget of $60,000. That 60000 today has now ballooned over two hundred fifty dollars to $300,000. That's the money that we need to put back into our parks. As for the weapons, Gonzalez says they were given to agencies who could not afford them, but he's insisting the park police never needed these weapons. And with the department eliminated, those who use the parks hope to see changes. And I'm very happy that they're taking some type of action now, and I look forward to seeing renovation. And tonight, those M16 rifles have all been turned over to the state. The park board did not want to leave them unattended, especially since the police force is no longer in existence. We should point out that Mayor Gonzalez has been appointed the interim park superintendent. However, he is not collecting an additional paycheck. Reporting live in Chicago Heights tonight, Jermont Terry. Brad, back to you. All right, only on two. Our thanks, Jermont.